is Jim Skank. I'm the chief of R&D here at Factory 5 Racing. What we do here at Factory 5 is we take factory engineered components, drive trains, rear axles, braking systems, and build our own chassis around them. So what people get from us is a frame designed in SolidWorks that we've welded in our welding shop. They get a body that we mold in-house, and they get all the parts to take those factory pieces and put them together and get a car. Uh, that really enables a guy to assemble something in his garage using factory engineered parts that is very unique and is something that you can't get anywhere else. This is actually our 20th year, so we've been in business since 1995. We started doing vintage designs, so vintage replicas, uh, with what we called the Mark I Roadster. A lot of times people would assemble these types of cars and then be disappointed with the results. So there was an opening for us to jump in and say, look, we can make a car that not only looks like people expect it to look, but it performs like it looks. The biggest thing with the 818 for us was we had gradually grown out of the entry level segment. The cars had become more refined, but at the same time more expensive. Uh, so it was more difficult for a guy, you know, scraping up money to get the money he needed to build the car. And we saw that as an opportunity to say, look, we can do another car um, that's less expensive, still get a guy in the game, and actually, particularly after we kind of looked around and saw, you know, that we could get the weight down, the, what the parts we could use were, the performance would still be there. We were taking a drivetrain out of effectively a 32 to 3300 pound car and in order to make the car really perform at what we'll call supercar levels, we had to knock the weight way down. So the goal from the get-go was 1800 pounds, which is 818 kilograms, which is where the name of the car came from. If you can get the weight down, everything comes up. The cornering, the braking, the acceleration. So that's really how you take a set of Subaru running gear and build a supercar out of it. There's a couple different ways you can build the 818. You can use either a standard Impreza, which is about 165 horsepower flat four, or you can do a WRX, which is anywhere from about 227 to 265 horsepower, um, and then you can tune from there. You're talking zero to 60 in the high threes because of the mid-engine and the low weight, so you're really you're taking that horsepower and getting the most out of it. You're really in a, a level that the cars never were expected to be when they were four-door sedans. For us, I think in the business that we're in, the stigma of, you know, this is a car that you built in your garage, it's, it's just something that's pretty, it's just something to look at, uh, it's something we've fought very hard by racing the cars. At the same time, that racing can't help but make the product better. You know, you learn where the weak parts are, you learn you know, where the car handles on the limit and how to make that better. Building a car is a difficult process, it's, it's, it's a big project. so. Our guys know it's gonna take some advice, some help, some pictures at some point. There's no doubt with us, our customers are our sales force effectively. You know, people see the cars more in the hands of the customers than they'll ever see them with us. So it's very important that the guy, when he has his car finished, he's happy, you know? Happy with the, with the product, happy with the whole company. It's kind of a sense of pride of the guys in there to say, look, you know, if a guy calls with a question, we're gonna be able to help him.